Tara from Simple Day, and I want to make Monday the best part of your week. Very often I hear from clients that they want to know how to create a high level board and a low level board in monday.com. So today I wanted to walk you through that process step by step. So that way you will easily be able to do this yourself. What I'm going to start with is I'm going to add a high level board. So I'm just going to hit add new board and we'll just call this high level. And I'm actually going to do this for projects. I have seen it done for a lot of other things. Like you can do it for grants, you can do it for products, you can do it for projects. There's a lot of different uses for this, but it's all the same concept. One high level board and a lot of low level boards um, link up to the high level board. So I'm going to hit create board and you'll see that my high level projects board is being created. So here it's all the way down here. Now I'm going to create a low level board. So low level. And this is going to be my, let's just say project one. Obviously, if you have more than one project, you would want to make more. I do recommend that if you're going to make changes to it, make one pro, let's say I would have a number of projects, make one project board when it's totally final, then duplicate it. Don't make them all at the same time because you don't have your final version. So I'm going to start on my high level projects board. I'm going to hit add connect boards because I want to make a connected board column. I'm going to select the boards and I want my low level project one. Obviously, if you do have other project boards you want to connect, you would choose them here. Now, if I want to see this information show up on the high level board and on the whole level, below level board, like information back between both boards, I want to hit a two create two way connection. It's very important that you do this step. If you don't, you will only have this information on the high level board. So I'm going to hit hit create two-way connection and submit. And I'm going to create a mirror column as well. Right now, we'll just leave it as status. So you can see on my high level board, it's connected to the low level board. Just so you know, if I hit on this information, it will show me what it's connecting to. And now if I go to my low level board, you'll see that a column just popped up, which links to my high level board. So this is creating the connection between the low level and the high level. Now, what I want to do to make everyone's lives easier is I don't want to have to manually connect them every single time. So there's two different ways that you can connect the information on the low level board to the high level board. The first way is by an item default value. So when you create this board, so what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to go here just to make sure that it's like a little more clear instead of this being called item one. So this would be called project one, right? And the, the goal is that I want all the tasks on my low level project one board to link up here. So that way I can see like an overall summary of everything going on my board. So I'm going to go to the low level board, hit on these three dots, and this is the item default value. And basically what this is going to say is every single time an item is created on this board, automatically connect it to the high level board. So you'll see what's going to happen. So if I do, let's say task one, okay, so you'll see it's creating and see it's automatically connected. Now, if I go to my projects, remember we had project one and you can see here that it's connected. So let's just say here, I would want to change my status to working on it. Again, if you go back to the high level board, so you can see that my status is working on it. Now, let's just say there's more tasks. So let's just so you can understand the concept. Let's say task two, you'll see it's going to connect to a minute. And let's say this one's completed. So if I go to my high level board, you can see that two tasks are connected and you can see that you have, you know, 50% is done and 50% is not working on it. I would recommend changing, changing this. So this is a great way to see like the overall status of a project. So back to the low level board. So that's the first way to automatically connect it. A second way that you can automatically connect your low level board to your high level board is by using something called a match automation. What a match automation does is when something on one board matches something on a different board. So let's say you can have a status that matches one board to another board, then the match automation automatically connects them. Let me show you how it's done. I'm going to do it based on a status column. So I'm going to add a new status column and I'm going to call this project because if you remember on our on our high level board, we listed over here, we had project one. So I'm just going to copy that and I'm going to go to my low level board. And obviously this would need to be on all low level boards. I'm going to just change this to project one. Okay. Obviously we would add all of our projects, but now we're only doing one. Then I'm going to go to the automation center and I'm going to search for match. And you can see there's three match automations. This one is based on when an item is created, or you can base it on when a column changes. So I'm going to base this when the column changes. So I'm going to add this to my board. And what I want to say is when my column changes, remember the columns I want projects. So like when I pick project one, the board that I want, I'm going to jump now, the board that I want to connect this to, remember is my high level board, right? Projects. And the column that I want to match. So 
in my high level projects, I'm matching the name. And in the low level projects, um, remember I'm matching the status and I'm, they're going to connect by this link column. So I'm going to add that to, to the board. So let's see what this looks like. So let's just take one that we haven't done. That's not connected already. So let's just look at item number three. And if I change this to project one, what you'll see in a minute is that it connected to project one. So if we go back here, just to show you, now we have a three, see a total of three projects that are connected to our project one. So in summary, we have a high level board here that we built and a low level board. You can build a lot of low level boards. Once you have one, I highly recommend just duplicating them. And then what you would need to do is you would need to go to the high level board and you would need to add them here. You just do customize, you know, um, customize it and then you can connect more boards. And then in order to automate, there's two ways to set this up. Either you can do the item default value or you can do the match automation. Obviously a third option is you can just enter it manually. You can just just enter project one and that as well will pull the information into the high level board. I hope this video was helpful because I really get this question a lot about high level boards and low level boards. Let me know what where you have implemented a high level and a low level board. As I said earlier, I see a lot of different use cases for this and it's really something that is very helpful when you're setting up monday.com. Please like the video below if you joined it and remember to subscribe down below.